All right, guys. So, uh, as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be talking about uh, Blackshot Europe. Now, the gameplay is not Blackshot Europe. I do not care about going in the game. This game that you can see here is World of Warships. Probably a lot of you won't really give a flying fuck about it, and that's fine, that's okay. But this is the game that I'm playing right now. It's very competitive. There's no pay to win. No bullshit like that. Um, the matches that you are going to see are some highlights of matches that I've played. This is ranked. So this is like um, for anybody who's played Dota, who's played League of Legends, who's played CSGO. This is like the same as that. You know, you go into a ranked ladder and you try to climb the ladder. Um, I'm enjoying, like I said, I am enjoying the game. It's pretty fun. Um, I hope that you enjoy these clips that I've got to show you. I think they're pretty damn cool. Um, please consider watching them till the end, even after I've finished speaking, because I do think that they are pretty fun and pretty cool. Um, I don't, I will never just post boring ass matches where I'm stood, you know, just doing nothing. I would only post some fun matches like this. For anybody who is interested, this game is a free to play game. Uh, it is available on Wargaming's site. So if you go to worldofwarships.eu, that is important that you choose EU. For anybody who is in the Asia region, you also have your own server, which is worldofwarships.asia, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or SIA, I, I, I can't remember either one. Um, now, just a quick note on that. I always say Asia, and I know a lot of you guys say SIA. I, I don't really know. I, I assume I said Blackshot Asia from um, when it was Garena because I didn't want to say Blackshot Garena, Blackshot Garena, Blackshot, you know. Just me. Anyway, so uh, what I want to talk about uh, is Blackshot Europe. Uh, the amount of players that I am seeing move over to the Asia server, the amount of players that I'm seeing who are just displeased, who are not too happy with the current situation that is going on with Europe is, is quite alarming actually, it's quite alarming and I actually do feel like Vertigo really need to look at this seriously because you have to understand Vertigo the way that these uh, the way that things are going right now it's actually hurting you as a company and the people in between you and the community it doesn't affect them at all. It does not affect them at all. And let's talk about this a bit more in detail, okay? There have been a lot of issues with GMs and GM team members. There have been uh, accusations. A lot of this is going to be accusations. There's no 100% truth in this, but I'm interested to see what some of you guys who watch this may say. There have been accusations that certain members of the GM team or certain past members of the GM team have got into the GM team through bad means, whether that is because they are females and they've got in through some form of, um, how can I put it? They've got in through some form of uh, sending pictures or flirting or acting sexual something like that towards a GM member. They've got into the team for that. These are accusations, not 100% truth, but these are accusations that I've heard. Okay. And uh, basically, these are just, this is one, one thing. Then we also have a situation where... Um, Certain members in the GM team don't seem to progress. Even though they work very hard, certain members in the GM team don't te seem to progress, move up into higher positions, whether that's a DSH position, whether that's even as much as a server head position. Now, of course, if a server head is doing a, a good job, you're not going to go and kick them off just because you want to move someone in. But, um, for example, there is a DSH who, in my opinion, and I would probably say that a lot of people who you ask in the community, this DSH, and it's Garfalita, for anybody who wants to know, I never see this user online. 
I never see this DSH online. Now you can say to me, and you can come along and say to me, yeah, well, you know, man, the, the, you know, she, she's not online because she's busy, because she's got studying, X, Y, Z, whatever. But I'm pretty damn sure, I am pretty damn sure, if you apply to put yourself in a position of being a GM, I am pretty sure one of the things they prefer and it's a strong preference, is that you are working from home, is that you are doing your things from home. So you are available for the job that you want to do. Now, of course, they don't get paid for this, but they still get compensation in BSC. So for me, for a GM, it doesn't have to be awful eater. I don't want to seem like I'm just attacking that user, that, that lady in particular. For a GM to go, oh, I'm 18 years old, I'm 16 years old, because I've heard that 16 years old people, fucking kids the age of 16 have been put into the GM team, I've heard. Accusations again. These people, they cannot perform their duty. They cannot do it. They have studying, they have school, they have uh, exams. They may have work. Now, of course, you may say to me, well, come on, man, a lot of people have work. That's fine. Then don't fucking apply and don't accept these people onto your team. It, Vertigo, if you are not willing to pay, if you are not willing to pay at least the top three, the server head and the DSHs, if you're not willing to get people who are full time working for you to actually monitor and actually deal with important things in your game more and more people are going to leave black shot if a gm gets pissed off because a player does a good job if a gm gets annoyed because a player does a good job i've seen videos of players getting multiple headshots and being booted from rooms i've seen players who were telling who were telling me they've been fucking banned just because they they dominated a gm in a room and you know if a gm female or male if they go to diabo and they go diabo Diablo Honey Pumpkin, <laughs> can you please ban this person? Because they made me sad in my room. Me, 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 me. If you say to someone, oh, can uh, can we ask you why the Turkish guns or why the kebab guns are in blah, blah, blah store? Oh, you, you're getting banned, man. You're so offensive, man. I'm a GM and I can fuck you up. This is the problem. This is the problem. The GM team that you have now is just encompassed. It's just a cocoon that's got Diabo fucking wrapped around them. And anytime somebody has anything negative to say to the GM team, Diabo comes out and goes, Ban Hammer, Ban Hammer, I'm so fucking pro because, you know, I'm server head and I'm a big boy and yeah, get rocking, yeah. And this is the problem that you have. And I could not give a flying shit now if I get banned for this. I could not give a fuck if they ban me. The things that I have heard about members inside that fucking team, the things that I have heard about those guys, the fact that I heard, accusations again, that Elko became a GM when he was fucking 16 years old. Are you for real? And the fact that Mentalist who, by the way, Mentalist works his ass off in the game. I don't agree with him a lot of the time, but he works his ass off. The fact that he is not a DSH and Elko is just shows you that Diabo chooses the people who are his close friends or who are females. This is the truth. This is the truth. Look at Vanilla. She worked her ass off. She didn't go to DSH. She disappeared. And someone else, another female, jumped Vanilla and went up to DSH even before Vanilla. I wonder why that was, Diabo, huh? And this is the problem, Vertigo. You have somebody at the head now who is abusing his power, and the people underneath him can see that he's abusing his power, and they do the same thing. 
they do the same thing because nobody is monitoring the activities, the chat logs, the things that the GMs are saying and doing. Nobody is monitoring this. And this is why everybody is leaving Europe and going to Asia. So enjoy losing money.